I'm so tired. This little uphill can be killing me sometimes. I'm carrying so much equipment. <sighs> well, hello my loves. <laughs> so, it's Saturday and this day has so far been so beautiful. And ever since I woke up, I've been feeling like an explosion. I, I want to split myself into a thousand pieces so that I can be everywhere at the same time. <sighs> And now I'm running down to the ice because I'm doing a little ice project again. Ah, oh, there we go. A little sunlight. Hello! <laughs> so now I am down by the ice and I've been here for a while taking some photos and recording some some video of the ice from above and also with the, with the camera. I don't know what it is about the ice that makes me so crazy. <laughs> I feel like I get so much you know bubbly energy every year when the ice uh, is growing because there's so much beauty in it and it's also some kind of magic with it because of the sounds and, and the look of the eyes and every year it's so different I really love this feeling when you are so inspired by something or you're so into something that you forget time and, and everything else around you just are so focused on one thing so I guess I'm gonna spend a lot of time here on the ice now for a few days because it's gonna be really good weather and and I have a few different ice projects that I want to do so I'm so happy <laughs> I'm so so happy that the snow didn't come first that it became this frosty coldness so the ice can grow and you can see the ice because if it would be snowing now everything would be covered it's a bit cold now actually it's around minus 10 celsius degrees i think and it's getting colder again because the sun is setting i brought some coffee ah oh, that's gonna be so nice some warm coffee now this is life so cheers on you guys school mm. Cold and warmth in a combination that's good for the soul. So what I'm doing here is that I'm taking some photos of the ice um, because I came here the other day with Nanook. I was just down by the lake walking with him and uh, the ice had started to, to grow uh, just a couple of meters out into the lake, maybe 30 meters or something. So it wasn't fully covered by then um, as it is now. <laughs> But it had been quite windy for a while, so the ice were broken and the wind had pushed all these broken ice pieces onto each other. And 
it just created these beautiful patterns and I was just spellbound by the look of, of the eyes that were pushed onto each other because I just immediately started thinking about mountains. Everywhere I looked, I just saw these beautiful icy mountain tops surrounded by stars and the night sky. And I don't know, I just saw these images in front of me. So I was just so excited when I saw that. And I, I stayed here for maybe two hours, just taking photos of the ice. If you have watched my videos for a while, you might know that Ice and mountains are one of my favorite things in the whole world. I don't know why, it, it's just this. So I just, uh, I got so excited when I saw this beautiful combination of the ice creating these mountain tops. Or in Swedish you call it fjell, or in Old Norse you say fjell. And I really, really love that word fjell because, well, there is not a good translation for that word in English. Uh, the only translation is mountains, <laughs> but in Swedish you say berg as mountains. Berg is more the rocky, stony, you know, parts. Uh, fjell is more the soft, uh, hilly, snowy covered mountain tops that you can see here up here in the north. So the ice were shaped into fjell and yeah, I just... <laughs> I just really loved it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here now. I'm continuing to take photos of this beautiful icy surface and finding more icy fjell to take photos of. And tonight I'm gonna see how the photos looks like and uh, if I can make something cool out of it. Uh, I really hope I can make some new ice prints out of this icy fjell. I would be so happy if at least one of all these hundreds and hundreds of photos that I've taken look good because I would really really love to have like an artwork made with you know ice but it looks like a mountain or a fjell that's like yeah that's the best combination I know ice and fjell and coffee now covering the whole lake and I am just waiting for the ice to start singing. I'm so excited about it. I have my audio recorder ready. This is how it looks like. It's charged with new batteries so I really hope tonight that it's gonna start to make some noises. Oh my god, I feel like the only thing I talk about is the ice. I'm sorry. I told you that I go crazy this time of the year. It will pass. <laughs> Oh my god, I think I heard the ice. Okay, just gonna pour up some more coffee. Before I get going, I just wanted to say that I've seen that I have... The ice! Oh my god! Okay, oh my god, okay, wait, wait there a minute, I just, I just, I'm just gonna capture this and film if you don't care. The ice is definitely talking. Sounds really strange, okay. Oh no, I can't. Oh shit. My farm. Let it down. It's crazy. Okay, my sweethearts, um, I think I'm gonna go back home now before it gets dark 
and I'm gonna make sure to put out the sound recorder on a really good spot because I think the ice can start to sing tonight but what I was gonna say <laughs> before the ice made a noise was that um, I've just seen that I have so many new followers from India and I'm just so happy about that because um, I love India I've always been very fascinated by that country and I really want to go there someday and yeah I was just really shocked when I looked at the analytics of my YouTube channel and I saw that uh, on the second place <laughs> of all countries where people come from uh, that's India and uh, I just want to say hello India <laughs> I'm so happy that there's so many of you that watches my videos so far away all right I gotta get going I see you later Det var vackert. I feel like I'm in heaven right now. This is so beautiful. The cold and the warm colors of the sky, the blue and the yellow and the mist dancing, I just... <laughs> I'm so happy to experience this today. So I'm gonna stay here until the sun goes down and then I'm gonna go back home because we gotta clean the house a little bit today because today it's first advent 
I don't know if that is mostly a Swedish thing, I have no idea. But it's usually the day when you bring up some Christmas stuff, <laughs> like Christmas lights and the windows and so. And it's pretty messy in our house because we haven't had that much time to clean lately. So I thought it would be a, a good day to, to clean up in the mess and make it a little cozy. I actually just heard a little tiny sound from the ice, so I think I'm gonna stop talking now and stop recording and put out my sound recorder before I go home. Nu ska jag äta nu. drinking glug. Mm. How would you describe that in English? Do other countries have glug? No, I don't think. It's like a, 
a Christmas drink that we always drink in the Christmas. Mm, it's it's a, between uh, <laughs> warm lemonade and warm wine. Yeah, that's a good way of saying it. Lemonade, it's not. Mm. Isn't that lemons? Lemonade, it's, it's soft. soft. Okay, okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's like a very cozy drink, mm -hmm. spicy. Uh, just the smell of it is like Christmas. Mm. I I love glug. I love it so much, especially you know drinking it in front of the fire. It just mm. brings up a lot of memories. I don't know. I think the quality might be pretty bad on the camera now because it's very dark. But this has been a really good weekend, I think. Mm. The weather has been magical and I felt so uh, inspired all weekend. Yeah, this is the perfect way of ending this weekend. Um, so yeah, I guess I would just say goodbye to you all and thank you so much for watching this vlog. <laughs> and uh, I see you soon. Mwah. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, Nano.